your QOP, our small nation's sole representative at the Olympic Games. Use the QOP keys to move your legs. Ideally, you will run 100 meters. But our training program was underfunded to the point of being a humanitarian disaster. Remember, it's not about whether you win or lose. This is QOP. It's fucking ridiculous. So yeah, you're this guy and you have to run. But you have an extreme paralyzing mental disability where you can't run properly. So you gotta use the QOP keys. And as you can see, they don't work very well, no do they? So, Q and W move your thighs forward. But that doesn't work if you don't move your calves properly. Your calves only move backwards. So you want to step forward, move your calves back, and sort of like that, but with not falling backwards onto yourself. Oh, oh, he's got a run going. Look at that shit. Look at that. He's got a freaking jaunty gait going. Look at that inspiring music. Oh, he took a full step, and then he thrust himself into the air. And seems to have broken both of his arms. Poor guy. Luckily, his bones are made out of jello. <laughs> and his leg just span around. Yeah, that's that guy's favorite opening move, so... Let's see, I had a system worked out before here. There we go. Now, what we gotta do... Yeah, you just... You just implant your right leg into the ground there. Up, oh, up! Oh, he missed. He messed it up. Get your right leg implanted in the ground again. That's not quite right. Oh dear! I seem to have messed this up. Up oh, there we go. Need to ride the ground like a freaking show pony. And you just sort of, just sort of pelvically thrust your way to victory. Yeah, you can do this for a while. You can do this pretty much the whole time, actually. It's, it seems to be the popular way of beating this game. Um, I wouldn't recommend, well, I don't recommend playing this game at all, but this is pretty much the best you can do. You know, is stick your right leg firmly into the ground, hold up your arms in a running stance, and hump your way to victory. Look at that. Got some pelvic thrusts going on there. Not helping him very much, but he's got some pelvic thrusts going on there. And just look at this guy. There we go. We're getting a we're getting a good pace going here. He's got his hands working into the pelvic thrust too. That's excellent. He's showing some real courage here, folks. Up! Oh, I tried to move the calves. That's a bad idea. You should never move your calves when trying to run. You should only move your thighs. It works wonderfully well, as you can see here. See, and your thighs have more muscle anyway, so why would you move your calves? It's ridiculous. Just... Just... Force your legs against the ground in frustration and slowly move forward. This is like running for magic carps. Q-op, use splash. But nothing happened. Who knows? So yeah, this isn't... Oh. He's trying to do a jumping stance here. That's that's exciting. Oh, he took a step, and he broke his face. And he broke both of his legs. Poor guy. Fortunately, as I said, he's made out of jello, so he doesn't feel much pain. Let's see if we can go backwards. Oh, snap. And our legs fold up like a freaking folding chair. That's wonderful. I've managed to go backwards a couple meters before. There's a wall to your far right, or to your far left here. I can't, uh, I can't reach it, though. So yeah, the proper way to play this game is to try and... You're supposed to try and figure out how to get these legs working. You basically move one leg at a time alternatingly. I think that's the sort of pattern, but... The timing is ridiculous. That's kind of working, though. Up oh, and snap. Poor guy. His arms are just the most useless things in existence, aren't they? Oh, that looks incredibly painful. Up. Oh, he forgot to step forward. Fortunately, this guy knows no pain. Actually, I don't think he knows anything. He may be a cadaver, in fact, with a robotic control system. 
that is the only way I can... Oh, he's doing the ground tuppy stance again. Let's see how far we can go. Yeah. Yeah, this game is pretty much intentionally designed to be terrible and awkward, if you hadn't noticed. And if it isn't designed to be that, I will eat my freaking hat, because there's no way anyone thought this was a good idea. It's now available on the iPhone App Store, though, so... I have absolutely no idea how the hell that works. It's... It, either it uses touchscreen buttons, or it has some system even worse than this. I have no idea. But I would thoroughly recommend checking it out if you want the worst game in existence on your iPhone. It would be it would be a fitting addition to your app collection. You could show your friends, hey look, I have the stupidest thing ever on my iPhone. And I'm very proud of it. Oh hey, look at what is that's that is inappropriate, sir. Also, what is your calf doing? It's separating from his freaking knee. That is not healthy. Would someone please get this man a doctor? Or euthanize him, or something. This man needs help. Serious mental and physical help. I love the inspirational music that plays as you start to advance, though. Oh, oh, he tried to take a step, and he fell backwards. And his leg broke backwards. This guy's just all messed up. Let's see if we can... Oh! Walking backwards is only slightly harder than walking forwards. Which is to say, I have absolutely no idea how to do it. Oh, I fell forwards for once. That is that is exciting. New ways to fall up. Oh, I am amazed at his ability to force himself upward in the air like that. Oh, he took a running step. And his leg took a backflip. This is QOP by Foddy.net. Ouch. That's terrible. You can actually beat the game. Kind of. I think it records your time or something. Um, I wish I could show you, but if you reach 50 meters as the world's biggest fuck you, there is one of those, there's an obstacle, one of those uh, hurdles, you know, for jumping over. So yeah, that's basically to stop you from doing this, which is, his leg's a bit higher than it usually is there. Oh, there you go. Come on, man. Tump your way to victory. Just, just, pretend it's a frat party, buddy. You can do it. There you go. So yeah, you can do this until you get to about 50 meters. Then there's going to be an obstacle in your way. And that's when you have to actually try and jump over it, or just plow through it and pray for the best, which is what I did. It didn't work very well. Come on, man. Plow through it, so to speak. And yeah, the best part, if you actually make it to the end, you gotta do a jump. With his legs. Which, yeah. This game is just the biggest fuck you that could possibly have ever been made. I love how his arms just freaking spasm the entire time that he tries to flail his pathetic limbs. Speaking of pathetic limbs, let's try and get our calves into this motion here. He's got... He's flopping around like a freaking jellyfish. Can jellyfish even move on their own? I don't know. I'm not a marine biologist. This guy just has the most amazing anatomy. He's got about five points of articulation. And he has no mental capacities whatsoever. Oh, he's, he's flopping his way towards victory. Oh, now he's going slightly backwards, actually. He's he's pretty good at doing the splits, though. I'll give him that. Oh! Ouch. And his, as his leg swings dislocated from his shoulder, I think that's a good place to stop. We were a participant. We showed real courage. And we should really get a doctor for that arm. And those legs. And pretty much everything I just broke. 